Um, I guess we, after all the presentations, yeah. And I guess we can start with um, University of Florence. So our speaker is a professor for fruit culture, working on plant genetic resources and breeding with special attention to underutilized fruit species. So let's all give a warm round of applause for Mr. Edgardo Giordani. Hello, thank you for uh, being here. And uh, I am here with my colleague, Professor Camille Lavibari from the University of Florence School of Agriculture. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, we are attending this, this uh, meeting uh, because we are in charge of a master course on tropical rural development here in, in Italy. And uh, well, the initial idea was to present the course, but we did already in a separate session. Uh, so we will be interested in, okay, discuss a little bit among us about the, the the application of innovation in agriculture in in, in our sector of uh, teaching so how uh, uh, new techniques uh, very innovative approaches uh, can be easily transmitted to our students and uh, also asking to ourselves if this is not uh, how to say, making distant our students from uh, the farming systems and agriculture itself. Uh, because uh, very often what is happening uh, with our students here in Italy, not for this course, but in general, is that, uh, well, in the past, I, I, I have a certain age, as, as you perhaps can see, uh, we were uh, very often in the field working with the plants, uh, with the animals in the case, etc. We have a more direct experience of the material world, while today, uh, in some way, it is like we are going uh, through a, an approach which is a little bit more distant from uh, the, 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 the material everyday life of, of farmers. I don't know if Camilla would like to add something. Yeah, uh, hello to everybody. Um, yes, as, as Professor Giordani uh, uh, said, um, our um, our courses try to uh, find a compromise, a trade-off between uh, um, traditional agriculture and uh, sustainable agriculture but traditional in terms of um, of uh, considering taking into account the the importance of social uh, meaning of agriculture um, agriculture is for producing food uh, so the implications of producing food are um, multi multifaceted so um, on one side, we are requested to um, to increase the production, and at the same time, we have to deal with Uh, agriculture management innovations and the social aspects are um, very very much important so that means that you cannot transfer uh, simply transfer the knowledge of technological innovation to the to the local communities unless you you um, you make a sort of study or a sort of increase of capacity building for um uh, for let the the community um, um accept and adopt the innovations so the, it's really important and we stress a lot also this this issue to to work in uh in a multidisciplinary team 
so with NGOs, with uh, scientists, with farmers, and try as much as possible to establish trust among the people, and also to find to 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 find a way to 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 make innovation, to promote innovation through a bottom-up approach. So both in educational uh, aspects, but also in the research that we are doing, we are we have been we are involved in several international projects. Um, some of them are also in develop, developing countries, so in Africa, in Asia, South America, and in all of them, we we are quite committed in in considering all the aspects of innovation, agriculture, social social aspects, and economic aspects. I see, all right, thank you for sharing about that. Um, do we have questions from our participants? If you have questions, you can type it in the chat box. So if I may ask um, uh, Mr. Edgardo, the niche program or the strong program of the University of Florence is agriculture, yes? Uh, actually, in our school, we have several uh, bachelor and master courses, but mm -hmm. among them, we have one offered in, in, in English language, which is open to international students as well as to Italian students. Uh -huh. It's a master course of two years uh, offered in, in English, uh, mm -hmm. where we have essentially two curricula. One is agricultural production and the other one is land and water. Mm -hmm. and it is focused on small scale agriculture, taking into account sustainability. Uh, but uh, as, as Camilla said, keeping in mind that we have to respect local traditions uh, in terms of way of production of diets, for instance, uh, uh, etc. So um, uh, let's say that we, we have a, a nice and consistent network uh, with other universities around the world where we can Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we have a, a network with other universities around the world where uh, they support our students for the trainership or to pre prepare their graduation thesis. Mm -hmm. And also uh, what we like to, to, to mm -hmm. highlight here is that even uh, the foreign students uh, attended our course, they can participate to the international mobility In order to enhance their skill, their capacity uh, in, in a sort of uh, triangle, no, let's say south, north, south. For instance, uh, in a few days, one of our students from Nepal is going to Brazil to spend six months there for his uh, graduation thesis. Uh, but okay, what what? Uh, as Camila said, what we want to highlight uh, is, is really the fact that it's not very easy to uh, combine, to merge the necessities of local farmers with innovation mm -hmm. uh, and with the challenges of, for instance, climate change. Uh, mm -hmm. This is one of our main concerns related also teaching, uh, because of course teaching means to prepare people for the future and, 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 and trying to solve these, uh, these big problems. Um, our course, just to finish, since you asked about it, uh, is, uh, is a small course in terms of number of students. They are mm -hmm. usually speaking around 15 up to 20, so we have a very direct how to mm. say relationship with them. They are not numbers for us, but of course, mm. persons. So we try to, how to say, to accompany them during their careers. And and we, we used to have meetings out of uh, the lessons 
uh, in order to, I mean, to introduce them to the other students and to mix uh, different cultural backgrounds. Uh, we mm -hmm. have people from Africa, from Asia, from Italy. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we meet uh, for having a, a lunch with different types of foods and also, mm -hmm. how to say, uh, each one of them can uh, uh, tell, uh, can describe to us, to all of the other students, which are their background in terms of uh, agriculture, Mm -hmm. uh, the background in terms of diets, of preferences. This is another interesting issue. Eh? We are going through, uh, let's say, a flat uh, diet, let's say, around the world little by little because of, on, of, 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 of well, big food industry, etc. But on the other side, we want to keep alive the, the tradition, so the food tradition and respect this, this kind of approach. Okay, thank you so much for all those information, Ms. Camila, Ms. Camila and Mr. Edgardo. That was very comprehensive. And so far, we don't have questions from our participants in the chat box. I cannot see any. Um, also, we have uh, two other higher education institutions or should be presenting this afternoon from University of Cadiz, Spain and University of Messina from Italy, um, I would like to uh, ask our speakers are here, Ms. Deborah Presti and Mr. Javier. Uh, sorry, uh, I received two emails now from them uh, saying that they cannot uh, access to the, to the chat, to the, to the meeting. Uh, one mail is from Spain and the other one is from Italy, Deborah Presti. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. My, I, I, my connection is quite not good. So I, was, I got disconnected. So again, do we have questions from our participants? I guess not. We just added in the chat the uh, web page of our course. If okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so by the way, I don't know if you could hear me, but I received an email from the, the other two, let's say, speakers, Deborah and Jekolea or Telma, uh, saying that they cannot access to the, to the meeting. They are trying to do that. Yeah. We are actually trying to look for their names, but I cannot see it on my end. I see. All right, so anyway, to our participants, uh, Mr. Edgardo was able to um, send the link. Oh. 
shared screen is this? Okay, so Mr. Edgardo was able to send the link in the chat box, so you can actually explore that link. Uh, you can actually see their available programs. Right. And um, by the way, in the dashboard of, of, of the fair, uh, there is a, also a description of our university, the school, and how to enroll, etc. So anyhow, please feel free to contact us if, if you need more information from the web, website, you will find our email addresses and what you need to be in touch with us. Yeah, okay. And how thank, thank you, so you very much for your attention. We are here. Right. Thank you so much. So I'm, we're just waiting for the other two speakers. I cannot see their names in the waiting room. Uh, I am trying to get in touch with uh, Deborah Presti of the University of Messina. Thank you so much. What you saying? Uh, sorry, so, yeah, I, I, I have no answer from them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I still cannot see them in the waiting room list. I'm actually waiting for them to uh, enter the waiting room, but yeah, their names aren't here. I see. Yeah. So I actually at three forty, I was even I was having a hard time to join the Zoom meeting myself. <laughs> oh yes, we understand. So again, to our participants, thank you for waiting. We're just. Um, waiting for the other two presenters to join the Zoom meeting, um, Ms. Deborah Presti and Mr. Javier Escuerto from University of Messina, University of Cadiz. Um, uh, can you see any name like Deborah Presti? No, I cannot see it on my end. I cannot see their names in, in the waiting room. Hmm because uh, she answered to me and she said her, the name is, is the right one, Deborah Presti. Yeah, I would also uh, like to ask uh, the European Higher, Edu uh, Higher Education Fair Secretariat host, because I'm just the co-host for this session. I would like to ask the main host, the EHF Secretariat. Uh, Ms. Hazel, you have... Yeah, you have the same access as us. We're also trying oh. to look for her. 
Ah, okay, all right. So I guess we're on the same page. I cannot see her, their names as well. Yeah, so still. Philip, yes, of course. <laughs> yes, and if I may ask, uh, do you have requirements uh, like IELTS or TOEFL? Uh, uh, yes, a B2 level in the European system, uh, but if the student is uh, has the bachelor in uh, an university offering the course in English, uh, there is no need of certification. Mm -hmm. It is enough that the institution certifies that the lessons are offered in, in English language. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes. And also we have a question from Mr. John Lloyd here. Uh, could, could you kindly provide uh, brief details regarding the scholarship? Okay, the scholarship. Uh, uh, this is a... Uh, how to say, a dangerous uh, uh, land because depending on the year, uh, uh, the minist our ministry, <clears throat> essentially the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry of Education may provide us or directly to the students of uh, all over the world the possibility to apply for scholarships. For instance, we have now a student from Kenya. Uh, he's here with a grant offered by our Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So indeed, uh, his application was uh, not through the University of Flores, but he, he won the, 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 the call for that scholarship. And then, of course, he decided to, to enroll in our master course. Uh, sometimes the Italian Agency for uh, International Cooperation is offering grants uh, for students of spe specific countries. Uh, the, the choice of those countries depends on, again, on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, the University of Florence itself is, is not offering uh, grants, but uh, some facilities through the Tuscany region, which is offering uh, grants for accommodation, which is a quite okay. a, big, a big problem here because it's, this is an, a quite expensive uh, city uh, because of art, nice. history, etc. Uh, but uh, uh, so what I, we suggest is to check always uh, our web website okay. and uh, also mm -hmm. the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Italy. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, the link. So, thank uh, you Camilla. so much, uh, yes. Mr. Eduardo. Sorry? Yes. Yeah, we can see it in the chat box. Exactly. Yeah, we, we can see it in the chat box, the link that Miss Camilla had, has sent earlier. Thank you so much. And also, um, by the way, I would like to remind our participants, I have sent a new meet link in the chat box with uh, the ID and the passcode. After we end this call, can you please transfer to the new uh, meet link to be able to witness the presentation of the University of Messina and the uh, University of Cadiz. Thank you so much for this afternoon. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you, University of Florence, for your presentation and information. Thank you Have very much afternoon. for hosting us. Yes. Thank, Bye, you. Thank you very much. Bye. Yes. Bye, Mr. Gardner. Thank you. Bye-bye.